Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, where market researchers come for news insights and commentary about the research field, and we expose them to knowledge and assorted other information that they can apply to their personal and professional research interests, both inside and outside their current place of work. On RBDR Today, a consumer advertising report that says programmatic buying had a double-digit decline in the first quarter of this year, and we'll explain why. And then research is out that shows that advertisers are probably better off sticking with their existing campaign if it still has legs, rather than tearing it up and starting all over. RBDR sponsored today and this week by Nuance a decision analyst company offering multi-language verbatim coding services that help their clients to quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Nuance president Lisa Hazen has prepared tips for choosing a coding partner. It's a veritable best practices update on the subject. Now you may personally not rely regularly on coding and so that would make you probably also unaware of the increasing improvement in the coding field in recent years. However, if you work in market research at some point you will surely need it. And the link that we've created with Nuance will get you either introduced or for some of you reacquainted with the coding area. Check out Nuance's coding glossary, coding services, and more at nuancecoding.com. Toby Elkin reported on Media Daily News that the Media Radar 2016 Consumer Advertising Report, which is out, shows that programmatic advertising buying during the first quarter of 2017 dipped 12 percent that's as measured against the same period in 2016. now it's surprising because elkin said researchers have been bullish on programmatic ad projections despite ongoing woes over fraud measurement and transparency issues moving on jerry smith chief executive of communicus an advertising research consultancy blog that there's a good reason that agencies and advertisers might want to keep relying on their existing campaigns despite strong desires to move on and come up with something better. Smith concluded that existing campaigns are nearly always far better than anything new that they can come up with, and she gave two main factors that work against new campaigns. First, copy testing, she said, cannot replicate campaign effects. New copy testing approaches can rarely beat the existing campaign because copy testing assesses one ad at a time and of course the best advertising works in market as part of a campaign. Reason number two, new campaigns rarely work as well as the previous campaign, the one they've just replaced. Smith disclosed a study she did that identified 109 new campaigns that had been launched by her client's competitors, and research showed that the old campaign was still working in all those cases. Of the 109 that were studied, 28 had market-based reasons, things like a major new product introduction, to support the change. But there were 81 cases where replacement took place without a good reason. And of those 81, only 20% of the campaigns performed as well or better than did the predecessor. Smith offers an alternative to sticking with the old versus totally overhauling ad campaigns, but I'll let you find out her suggestions about refreshing a campaign. You can click the link that we've included in the description box underneath today's video to capture all those details. That's your research business daily report. We've been sponsored today and are all this week by Nuance, a decision analyst company offering multi-language verbatim coding services to help their clients quantify the meaning of open-ended answers. Check out nuancecoding.com. Have a great research day and we'll see you back here tomorrow.